Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, former Black Stars player John Pinto, and some other journalists, then Ghana Futsal team, and some other updates you need to know on this channel. You know how we do it. Anytime you join us, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to the channel, put us on post notifications so that anytime you drop a latest update, you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box after watching the video. Share this video for others to also come and enjoy. We have a lot to share with you in this update. But I'll make it very snappy and detailed as we do always. So, yes, um, it is really interesting. John Pinto and um, Sadiq Adams Force Obama countryman Songo and a whole lot of other um, journalists the media houses a lot of things are happening and we will talk about that so let's begin from here Mohamed Kudus um, he is also one player who is playing so well for West Ham United and today one former West Ham striker his name um, is Mr. Frank McAvenny he says that Mohamed Kudus the Lucas Paqueta it is going to be hard for West Ham United to maintain these two players as they are actually moving forward um, in terms of financial um, aspects and other things. It will be difficult for them to keep them. But he hope that West Ham, they will keep Kudus and Lucas Paqueta because he, they are giving them a lot of goals and they are so talented. We also talk about one player who has spoken about Kudus and some other ones in this one. So, uh, Mr. Frank McVerney, as I said, former striker for West Ham United, speaking about Kudus, possibility of him leaving next summer. These were his words. I think we've got people who can score goals. Um, he also continues to say, we've got Kudus and Paqueta. Keeping those two is the biggest problem for me. I fear they will both leave. That is what I keep hearing. So according to him, his fear is that Kudus and Lucas Paqueta, he has said that they are going to leave. And that is what is actually worrying him. He continued to say that he hoped that the club, Western United, they will do everything possible to get players or these players to stay in this particular summer and add more players for them um, to also improve on their performances. Aaron Creswell, he is also a left back for West Ham United. He says that he has been playing with a lot of talented players, but this crop of players at West Ham this season, per their talents, they are the best he's ever played alongside them. And Kudus is one of them. These were the West from Aaron Creswell. Talent wise, this is the best squad I've been in. The talent we've got at the minute, like Mohamed Kudus, is ridiculous. You don't want to go near him. I always knew the club was a big one. It is a special club in so many different ways. That is what Aaron Chris was. The left back for West Ham United also has to say on Kudus. So, yes, Kudus, according to Frank McVerney, he says that he's afraid or his fear is that Kudus and Paqueta they will leave the club. Then Chris was also speaking highly of Kudus and some other ones also in there. Now, yes, before we talk about the other updates, friendly match will happen tomorrow exactly 7 a.m. for the Ghana Black Starlets under 17 because they are preparing for the upcoming, um, you know, African games that they'll also be playing so that is also a quick one they will play at the across sports stadium tomorrow 7 a.m i also try if i get the highlights and everything i'll drop it for you on this channel now let me move on and talk more about some of the updates ghana futsal team yesterday i brought you an update that the team they are currently in morocco to also prepare for the african cup of nations which is going to start from 11th of this month that is 11th of april and end on the 21st of april in morocco i've told you ghana we are in group a alongside morocco angola and zambia then group b we also have egypt libya namibia the mauritania so the two to that will qualify and then they will actually move forward to play the next round of the game so ghana for start team we hope that the team they will do well today they had a walk um in that is talking of Mohamedia as um the team they are actually refreshing themselves ahead of this afcon which will start on the 11th so these are some of the few updates now let's come to the court issues and others because i know many will be waiting for that and i don't have to waste much time on that now the breaking news is john pinto he has slapped journalist um countryman songo sadiq adams for obama christopher nimley um veronica Komi, and some other media companies with a lawsuit over some forgery claims and some um kind of words we had which has been said about him um when he was given the role 
as the assistant head coach for the Black Stars team. This is really interesting. Yes, yeah, so John Pinto, he has commenced legal action for um, damages against three media houses, including the journalists that I actually mentioned in this particular one. John Pinto, he has faced intense criticism um, following his um, comments that he made on Save the Ghana Football Demo. Yes, I was there that day to do the demo, the, the demo in Accra. And afterwards, he came to UTV Ghana to make some comments saying that it wasn't needed, the GFA is doing so well. And um, after that, the backlash started coming. And when he was appointed as the assistant head coach for the Black Stars team, there has been a lot of allegations. Some are saying he's using fake um, you know, license to coach and a whole lot of stuff. And today, he has actually served all those sports journalists, including the media houses, rates for them to appear in court in some eight days for court to actually begin proceedings so that um, his name will be cleared and any other damages whatsoever that they will they, he will actually request um all those things will also be paid to him or anything that they need to do in order for him to be okay it will be done so on your screens i'll be showing everything to you yes so that is it also in there so yes the journalists who are actually um part of this uh one as i said sadi kadam sports obama Christopher Nimley is also part of the list. Patrick Osei Ajima, countryman Songo, he has also been um, um, sent to court. Then we have Veronica Komi. Um, she was also part of the Save the Ghana football demo um, that we had. Some um, the main organizers, she was also part of them. So these are the journalists. Then for the media houses, we can speak about Angel Broadcasting Network. Angel Broadcasting Network, they are part of them. Then we also have Omni Media. Um, they are also part of those people who have been taken to court so yes john pinto he's told the court that yes um in some eight days time they should serve they have already served them um so they will appear in courts for proceedings to begin and i'll be following this particular issue and if anything i'll bring it to you on this channel so um that is it for you let me know your thoughts in the comment box john pinto dragging these journalists and media houses to court because of some comments made about him I don't know, but we have to wait and see how things open out on that front. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.